Pécs is the fifth largest city in Hungary, in the heart of Central Europe. It is an ancient city, inhabited as early as the Roman era. It is located in a beautiful natural environment near the western Mecek mountain range. The cultural and educational center of Hungary's southwestern Trans-Danubian region, Pécs boasts the country's oldest university. The internationally recognized University of Pécs was founded in 1367 by King Louis the Great. Today, most of the research and teaching facilities of the medical school are concentrated in one part of the city. The Institute for Translational Medicine was established at the University of Pécs in 2016 to function within a new kind of organizational structure with an interdisciplinary approach. The center plays a key role in developing translational medicine in Hungary and internationally. Translational medicine is much more than science. The use of scientific results and their conclusions in our healthcare is not the basis for quality and cost-effective patient care. According to the latest data, 1.7 million people die every year in Europe. And from this high number, 1.2 million of the deaths could have been avoided by better prevention, therapy, and education. So our center at the University of Page can uniquely and in a very high quality teach you how to interpret scientific results correctly and how to use them to population benefit in the shortest possible time. We all know that we have to improve the healthcare system. In the past, patient care was basically based on personal experience. Lately, everybody is talking about evidence-based medicine and individualized patient care. That's where translational medicine comes in. Basically, translational medicine forms a bridge between uh, clinical and uh, basic science. Uh, through this we mean uh, that we try to collect all the data, all the knowledge and we try to implement it into the daily clinical practice. We offer a 12-month program to medical students who want to advance their knowledge of translational research and gap year. In the first two months they will have structured training in the methodologies of meta-analysis, registry analysis and clinical trials. Participants will be able to learn practical skills through doing their research projects supported by very experienced senior supervisors. The Translational Medicine Research course teaches students how to be critical consumers of medical research, to gather primary data on health issues through questioning and observation, and to conduct biomedical research. We have a unique, highly dedicated interdisciplinary team of 24 members. The team is covering the fields of biostatistics, IT, clinical research administration, healthcare economics, legal issues, communications. We ensure the quality of research projects and the speed up of their implementation. Four of my colleagues and myself are attending a 12-month resident fellowship program. We started to work in Heimpal National Institute for Pediatrics, which is the largest children's hospital in East Central Europe. So we have many uh, patients and a great amount of data that had not been used before for a scientific purpose or for providing better healthcare for our patients. Therefore, we came here to learn the methods and bring them back to our institute. The University of Pécs places a great deal of emphasis on small group teaching, with tutorials made up of two to three students and seminars of six to twelve. In the Translational Medicine program, each student is assigned a personal supervisor a member of staff at the Center for Translational Medicine. Students are trained by a clinical scientific supervisor, a basic research supervisor, an educational supervisor, and a scientific methodology supervisor. Keep pace with the evolution of medicine. Understanding the basic scientific methodologies is inevitable so that we prepare our students for this purpose. The first and foremost priority is to acquire the skill of critical reading and critical thinking, otherwise you can't judge the evidence. Practicum options include working at a health facility. The projects are managed by study groups, which consist of at least a junior fellow and a senior fellow, and which conduct research on a specific area of medicine. Intensive care medicine is basically 
applied physiology translated at the bedside. So we've been working with three PhD students and this is also an interdisciplinary subject, so it is a very high interest to uh, both medical doctors, young medical doctors and medical students. I think it is a good start for a medical student uh, who want to uh, deal with gastroenterology uh, uh, later on in their career to learn this new methodology, uh, how to uh, collect patients' data, how to establish patients' registries, how to uh, plan clinical trials since we are facing uh, a lot of unanswered questions in our uh, routine daily uh, patient care. I'm pleased to take part in our unique translational medicine educational program. In pediatrics, it is always a slower process to get answers and provide evidence to clinical questions than in the field of adult medicine. There are a number of reasons for this, but we need to take every opportunity to catch up. Our training program is well positioned to bring a cutting-edge approach and to deliver ideal solution for a new generation of pediatricians. Children deserve every effort, since our future is in their hands. A research fellow can participate in multiple study groups with different projects, which include meta-analyses, patient registries, clinical trials, and basic research projects. I think uh, this institute uh, represents a different point of view compared to the curriculums. I developed a global critical and uh, practical mentality which uh, aid me interpreting the results of uh, clinical studies properly and uh, I am now able to uh, answer clinical questions uh, on my own so I can uh, present my researches on international conferences. For me, the reason behind joining the Institute for Translational Medicine was that the methods of research conducted here have a great potential of helping people. All types of medical research, of course, are useful, but here it is very practice-oriented. We are looking for gaps in clinical practice and designing studies to fill that gap, or if there is research that did not yet find its way to patients, we help it surface. On completion of the program, participants will be able to use the modern clinical research methods and will be authors of three to five studies published in peer-reviewed journals. So you will win if you come to PAGE. <laughs>